shutting us out like you never act like this before turning around i don't want to lose you Good afternoon. I don't know if we can actually finish this now. Uh, this morning I felt like just a little bit more and it wasn't enough. There is, there is no reason to believe that now will be that just a little bit more will be enough, but we might be able to do enough to make it barely usable. Uh, I think disabling this stuff at zoom level in an animation will go a long way towards communicating some of the restrictions. Uh, I can also put some information um, in the, the default panel, so when you open it, and then if we can get icons in here, it might be barely serviceable. And I'm, I still have to like see if I can find a better thing than two sidebars. Uh, so, if we do a default view, this is object, Yes, object sidebar, which has object search, which <clears throat> show object result. Okay, so we've, yeah, none. Uh, let's just see if that looks okay. Oh, and for development, it, uh, wrong sidebar. Okay, yes. Uh, for development purposes, let's put this back default on. Uh, I might want to do something more complicated than just I mean, it's, it's going to be multiple words and that might mean doing something to make the text look good. 
Uh, actually, isn't there like maybe paragraph? Is there a paragraph? It, it would be near text if it was there's text area. Multi line. Oh, that's a multi line text input. No, I'm still an input. Get back here. <laughs> okay, none text. Well, it's not going to be right next to there. Basic elements, rows and columns, text layout, paragraph, text column. Hmm, so paragraph flows. So really it would be a text column of paragraphs? Oh no, text does not wrap. Okay, so it might be a... Well, flow the text around elements that have a line left around it. Huh, okay. So really a column would work for this. So this was just L. If I did column uh, and put some text into it, you might actually be more. To, might want a title here. Uh, there's some interpretation is required. Uh, it's not it's like a static snapshot. So animation and zoom, what does that space out as? So you might actually look better. So does alignment do your contents? Line left, line right. I say, it, yeah, it's center X within another element. So that's aligning within you. So I would have to do some other kind of elements in order to apply a center Y to them. All right, center X. Uh, do paragraphs have other attributes? You do have list attributes. Oh, a paragraph can have texts too. Oh, wrapped inline elements. Yeah, so that would be text, bold text. Uh, this is just one string, though. But it also has to have the text in it, so. Ah, and which way do we go this way? And restrictions should be like a heading or paragraph. But we, I don't know if there's, a, if there's specifically headings or if it's all just put attributes on them. Data tables, size. Oh yeah, can you explain? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, uh, I don't think I've done any scaling work on this. Uh, I, I imported scaled. Okay, so two-part message uses it. Which is actually kind of close to what we're doing. Uh, but I need more than just two parts. Uh, oh, I had the text separate here. Now this column is not center y. Ooh. Oh, you had a... You had a height value, which was just an arbitrary number. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something we need to work on. Uh, is actually getting... That's, that's kind of maybe that's kind of theme information. Okay, and this thing is not uh, center x, center y. That error must have been placed in that kind of context. Uh, loaded in current view. In my view, there's enough space to say, but that might need to be a separate line. Actually, that's greater than. Uh, I wonder, could I say default size here? I mean, I'm basically copying them, but... No, D2 close, thank you. But that's going to be an important one. That's that's kind of a part of that. So those are the current restrictions. So that documents it a little bit at least. And I think that our model has some sort of, so default center goes into center. It's a point. Yeah, so it defaults to something a little bit more than that. So as long as we've got model, you know what, I wasn't doing enough commits earlier. And then this, this does disappear if we search for something. Good, 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 good. Uh, in app. Well, that would have worked.
So if I, let's see, show object result. If I did object search, object search box, object search, you've got model. Okay, so there's object search theme palette. You get a palette for the background color only. And then we've got this thing. Uh, I might want to do like a modified. I mean, really, what I want to do like a font color. Uh, so, so first of all, is that possible? I'm going to need the color from you. I thought this de emphasis, I guess. It's darker. I'm not sure it's going to be super obvious. Uh, see, do I have a disabled option on my check boxes? Like we have so much. I'm going to have to push that down so far, but uh, check label icon. Not directly, I don't think. Unchange icon check label. I guess you could put a, you could put a different different icon. Well, if it's dynamic, then you might notice it if you were looking at it. All right, so DM for DM. I want to make that conditional on we've got model. I mostly don't have to deal with points, do I? Oh, I had to find that in leaflet. Uh, yeah, it was originally meant like, okay, I just, here's a point. Um, but what do we do with you? Do we just use this? We construct it, we construct it. That's coming back from the route. Where do I set the route?
I don't know if it's, it's center or not. It's gonna be point. Center URL. Okay, maybe, that, maybe that's the model thing. Yes, and it's just dot x dot y dot z. Is less than 24, which, I mean, ideally you'd know whether there was data there or not, but. And what can I put in here to, is there, is there like a no attribute? I mean, I guess I do like standard text color. Size is an attribute. But this is the alias attribute, which has this like internal constructor that I probably can't use. That's an option. Color is its own thing. Placement. That converts an HTML attribute to an element attribute. That's a definite thing, that's a definite thing. I guess that would be foreground. Uh, it doesn't like that. Uh, is that sufficient? No. Well, maybe we have another issue. Oh, center is not a point. Say, oh, it can be default or because it can be unset in the in the beginning. Okay, so center cord is a helper I had for that. It's still a maybe. It, it's not exposed, so. Uh, oh, it just gets worse and worse. Ah. Uh, uh, I could take that into font dot color. And this is going to be a. We have to do that as 
that. And then we have to do set center. I don't like think I I do technically have this exposed. Can't do a comparison there. Oh, this, yeah, this is, let's see. This should produce a value, which is a color. I guess this thing has to be. Huh. So I got the constructor, but I don't have the constructor. <laughs> Wait, uh, right, because it's a record. Um, right, if it's a record, can I do that? Oh, that's very subtle. I think my de-emphasis needs to be darker. So that's eight. I should almost be highlighting this stuff when it's on, but I don't want to go too far into this right now. Weirdly enough, that's a de-emphasis color for light theme, too. <laughs> Alright, so the other piece of this would be animated. We should have access to that, too, and actually that would be that color for both of them. Mm. The complexity deepens. Uh, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 object search valid. False. I guess we should really be saying greater than or equal. I see this is just becomes 
g greater than or equal to 24. Now let's fill it on zoom. But it's that and data animated or rather not data animated Lock. Actually, you don't support that, do you? Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. Model then So we still have that well, That may help a little bit I also have to I also need to make a note Notes Uh, let's see, tile not found in anim view. Oh, oh, maybe the maybe the index has static tiles, but there's not necessarily animation data for that. Because it was all old data in that tile. Uh, see, I, I don't want to forget the user's search, but I might want to replace it. Oh, you know what? You're getting past objects. color Can I tuple this? Uh, no, because we're not passing that. It doesn't give any, any indication that we found something there.
Also, I thought I had one of this view. Oh, maybe it wasn't loaded at the time. And yeah, start zooming in and out. I don't like the lack of feedback there. That's another interesting little detail. We have, for some reason, we have slightly different visibility rules. Maybe I'm using different uh, scale values for the pre-calculated. No, because that's the dynamics versus the actually that one is should be using should be using similar rules. So those are the primary restrictions. I should almost like invert the color of this stuff. Um but then I have to redo that valid test. And flip the colors on this. Probably better the whole thing to emphasize a bit. Uh, item color. It's not fully disabled. We can still do searches. It's just not going to do any good. Oh, and did I do any actual changes to model? Oh, nope, I committed last time. All right, other thing, we have to fix this mess. All right, do we currently have a selection? We do not. Yeah, so it, it's stored in my browser, so it was, pro it was probably on my other computer. And they want you to be premium members. They have no, well, there's an import project from They don't really say what. <laughs> Selection.json maybe? Oh, yep, that's it. Uh, actually, no, this is probably, yeah, this is probably the blank.
Uh, does manage projects. Uh, no, not those kind of libraries. Remove, move, edit, edit. No. Oh, from library. Oh, I just, I guess you have to pick one. Uh. Is that not the? Oh, no, that was, um, I'm pretty sure that's what I was using. Yeah, that looks, okay, so the, the default project imports that, okay. Do you have, hmm. Well, a diamond would definitely fit the the icon of it. It's not quite the right diamond. And I'm only set up to use these kind of things as icons. There might be some way to like import a well, importing a SVG or something would probably be a. Um, premium thing. So sadly the suit is the... I'm really surprised. Um, purchase brands with a are the brands? Well, these these have color. I thought the free didn't uh, purchase, 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 purchase. Ah, okay, so this is another. There are some other free ones. Oh, and you have to be premium to even get access to probably purchase these. Or maybe it's included. Can win ultimate. Essential is also a purchase. Well, it's, it's a good app. Maybe I should do that sometime. Uh, oh, so you have to do that. You have to add. Is there. A preview. There's a directions with it. Uh, it's not a document, it's not sports, it's not what I was talking about, gesture. Oh, these are all outlines, so they're not going to fit with the current style. Oh. oh, but they have filled versions, okay. Right there. Forty-eight. Let's well, zoom up, but I don't see a simple diamond. Whoops. 
Hey, Athena. How are you doing? Oh, uh, using, is there a preview? I'm trying to get the object search to be usable enough to actually publish. Uh, and right now, this is this is a disaster right here. I actually think I need to redo this whole UI, but two identical icons is no good. Oh, let's move to font five some five. Now brewing alpha. <laughs> See, oh geez, is there a... Is there a search? <laughs> Uh, that's still slightly asymmetric. Uh, it's a kind of s it's kind of sign. I saw from the directions thing. Yeah, there's directions. Icons. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you're feeling good today. Stop. Huh. Yeah, apparently a simple 45 degree square is not a common icon. There's directions again. Oh, it might look a little bit like the layers icon. That's an interesting. So I guess having some of the other perspective to it might be good. Uh, I did see like a target sign, and it was interesting that the uh, the diamond has a little bit of that aspect to it. Ooh. This was Typicons.
Oh, there's no preview on that one. Oh, media, this is probably all weather. No longer being active, developed. View the collection. It's gonna be specifically line icons. And this is probably gonna be very pixel art. Now they have some angles. To locate. Uh, oh, it imported this as a set. Do I have to? Okay, so these are selected. So it's in the selection. Oh, well, that's a shame. I guess they're there, so. But I can't necessarily see that I've got it as I'm going through here. Uh, let's see, I could use that for the active sad bar to switch off of it. Is there anything else that would be, I don't, I, I don't really know what, what would be object search. Uh, short of trying to, I'd almost have to do a custom icon of a gooseberry bush or something to represent the generic one life object. What do you mean figuring out how to prepare all this stuff? I guess it's definitely an SVG file. I'm just using the SVGs so I could possibly figure that out, but I'm trying to get something relatively quick now. You know, some of the others had like target sign things. But I'm using diamonds, so it was not immediately apparent what it is. But once you've used it once, it should make sense. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? So search. I could maybe change that icon. More parameters. I don't even know what this is, and getting something that. Div class, 
Maybe it's like a it's like a CSS background. Hmm. But getting something that would match stylistically, you'd really have to probably do the whole set. Oh, you do have a target. Mm. So it's going to put a bunch of diamonds up. I mean, this is going to put a bunch of circles up, so maybe maybe icon style isn't the best thing. Uh, that actually saves me an entire icon set. Selection. I'm pretty much using SVG. Uh, did I rename these? I didn't rename that one. I renamed some of these. Well, filter works. Paint format actually sort of works. I might have renamed some of these. Or. Er I wonder if I renamed them in the... Well, that should show up in the diff if I did. So this is going to be like... Well, it's probably just going to be object search. Uh, this is going to be kind of like life data, going to be like object data. I'm going to have to find what places I did this. Oh, uh, did I use that multiple times? I did. I just called it data here. Hmm. Actually, I haven't fixed those either. I don't think I'm really counting on that. Oh, different grid size. I wonder if I found that in a different collection or if I... Let's see, so there's that. Ah, and then there's the download. There's class selector. This is, I think this is different than the last time I used it. Include. I'm... I think I had those before. Override size, add background color. Uh, 
All right, I think I checked this in. So if we just replace it. Oh, it, it changed all the icons. Interesting. Oh, okay, so it's maybe just carriage returns. Demo HTML gives it uses a different example. And then that bumps all the glyphs down by one. Demo, icon target. Oh, I put the titles in there. Or maybe they put the titles in there and then I sometimes change them. Oh, so it did know what collection it was and what icon index it was. Huh. Not selection.json. Uh, I guess it doesn't say what collection it is. Wait, I come in styles. They used to have a modifier for circle, now they don't. Maybe they, oh, they just moved. Symbol defs, we had to include that inline and, oh, they used to, they stopped including titles be, precisely because of that. Okay. Now did I lose icon circle or did it just get, shuffled around okay it used to be at top now it's not bottom probably got shuffled because of the size thing uh symbol and then i think they have this in no, I am doing remote reference on this. Okay, so we're going to have to update that. And symbol defs. Okay, so there's my copy. There's their copy. This had the titles in it, which is what I... So if I copy this over, then I'll get the diffs. Uh, first is what I was actually using. Oh, yeah, and we got new files there. Yep. Okay, circle, icon target. Uh, it just removed all the titles. Oh, I did. I did rename some of these. And it completely removed these. I mean, I, I guess the I didn't necessarily always want those, but some of these we did. Yeah, so like circle. And it went symbol title. Pass 
paint format. Maybe I didn't need all of these. Uh, icon time was time, which how I'm using it that was actually sort of appropriate because these are only in a icon format. There's no title there. Users. I mean, this is by search, so that's probably fine. Icon tree, which works well enough. Cancel circle. Cross was cross, play. Uh, okay, so stop two. Is a little bit important. And checked two is a little bit different. Filter is filter, Twitter is Twitter, GitHub is GitHub. And I was renaming these things, so target Although for these, yeah, I do have my own title. This this may have actually been overwriting that. All right, so that's the local one. Things should still be working. Uh, so that's all that stuff. Actually, if, if I just change this thing out, that shouldn't be too big of a change. That's the icon. Wait, select life mode. Oh, because this is going to be for each individual tab. So it's going to be like select. No, this is the individual tabs, which maybe I want to put that on and the other on the map tab. Uh, target. Oh, is this actually because this is in here because these are on top of the map. Map button. Uh, this is the map button. Well, that's probably a default. Life object target. Okay, so I think I got you. And now I've got something else that helps distinguish those. Oops. Now, I would also like to maybe do the toggle on these. And that's still kind of a filtering bit. Maybe that should be the target. It's still a kind of search. All right, but that's the icon swap, and that solves one of our major problems.
Uh, let's see. New icon for object search. And then that's something we have to... We don't usually update that file when publishing, so that'll be a thing. I almost want to publish just that file so it can... Because I don't think I gave it any special timeouts. So there might actually be no icon at first. All right, what are we doing? Okay, so it's actually a different button with a different function. Toggle animation controls. Yeah, so the problem here is that the state about which sidebar is open, I don't know if that's really sent down here. But this is stuff on top of leaflet, so I'm not... I'm drawing it in leaflet. And maybe I could do an overlay there. I do it for the, the current time message. Set view, current time, current server, world list, object bounds, monument list, data layers, display results, focus. Anim overlay is related, base layer, point location. Yeah, we're not doing anything specifically when we open and close those. The other one follows from the animation status, so I'd basically have to send sidebar down here to tweak buttons. that. Select life mode, select object mode, select any... I see the, the buttons do have to come from here. Overlay and overlay A, overlay... Life sidebar toggle, object sidebar toggle. Oh. That's a thing. It's a small thing, but it's still a thing. Uh, alternately, I could just set and clear the object set. That's going to have to go down and get done on every layer. Search overlay. Yeah, that's actually adding or moving to the map. This is going to be more of a thing where we go through and update all the world. And I wouldn't mind getting it to where the object search is a, a separate thing. 
I'm going to have to think about how I have that, how I have that work with changing changing maps. Might not be able to tackle that right now. So to properly represent those icons, I would have to ship sidebar mode down. Which is always going to happen through one of those buttons. You would have to send two messages. I would need the resulting value of this. And the resulting value of that. I would have to communicate about sidebar statuses to leaflet, so I'd have to pre-convert it to string or have it own that data type. Do I have to include model in here? No, I've not done that one. I've got a whole data, but not not model. Other kind of targets, other kind of filters. There we go. Life sidebar toggle, object sidebar toggle is the message. They both sent Adam Toggle. Oh, uh, if I've got two of these, is their order going to change? Because this is adding and removing controls. Okay, so basically we're, we're no opting it as necessary. Yeah, I can't replace those necessarily. I might, let's see, would changing the icon even work? in an interactive fashion. Object sidebar toggle. It's just a map button. Where do you send your message? Leaflet event.
So Leaflet is getting that. Event. So move and maybe that just means it just sends a message. Maybe we just have to check on uh, the definition of. Yeah, so there's map dot on, map dot on, map dot on. Select points, data range, ah, uh, talk, okay, so this is, this is my, my custom thing. It's, a, it's an extended control. Uh, so let's try, uh, what is it, like, l dot util dot set options is this even a thing that works does not seem to be Oh, because I'm actually, this is happening in a knit layout, so I'd have to actually re-render class name, container, create. I might have to do my own. Uh, my own little redraw function. updated in place Let's enter HTML. I might, I might be able to do some kind of styling on it. I think the thing that worried me uh, worries me about swapping the buttons out is going to be maintaining the proper order. Because add and remove will end up being no ops. We'll have to make whatever order they're added in now. So it stacks up. Oh yeah, because if we do this one and it gets removed, then the cancel button will come in on top. So anytime we ch had to change anything, we'd have to remove both of them to re-add in the right order. Uh, let's see, what if I gave it a method that rewrote as a cancel button? Time, icon, anim toggle, bottom left. Random call. <laughs> uh, 
trying to think. Why do I even have the... I'm not expecting anything. <laughs> uh, link, 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 link. I would have to save a reference to this. Return container. We still have to find that object. Container. But okay, right, right. It's an element. Uh, so it returns about the children of you. that map button so it would be an anchor child which I don't think I'm doing like any I like how you have jQuery on here there is leaflet dom util or it would really be its first child href equals title equals event doesn't actually need to change actually uh This dot option should still be valid. Maybe I should just have it look it up. Although the the container element won't be set yet. Uh So if we were to do, it does have the icon as a thing. Because we have to do an l dot util dot set options. No, I need to. I need you to remember what your icon is. So really, it's going to be like. I guess you kind of do have to specify that, and the option will be. Um, which it is. All right, and what do we need to do to you? We've got a container. Oh yeah, this container equals this dot container. So actually, we're returning that, but maybe I, maybe I just tried to do that, and anyway. So this container will be set. Uh, we've already got it looked up. Not a class. Dom util. Turn an element given its Dom ID. So 
So they do not have a like handy get child. So if we've got, I don't know, something. Oh, body is not defined. I thought the uh, certain elements were global. Um, maybe document. Oh, it's probably like document dot body. Document dot body dot get. No. Node list HTML collection. What's body? Body is body. <laughs> Child element count. Child nodes. I think it would be more of a child nodes. Oh, it's not a function. Okay. What about children? Not a function. Okay. Uh, what do you do with a node list then? So HTML element tells us between the um, HTML. Oh, there's, a, there's HTML collection. Maybe that has more interesting stuff on it. It has to be. Is it DOM element or HTML element? It's just element. That's a property. Uh, oh, I did children. Child nodes, also a property. Read only property, a live HTML collection. Methods and properties that are common to all types of node objects that can have a parent. Oh, this is the child node object. Oops. Next, I want child nodes. Oh, mm. child nodes. Maybe that's a non-standard thing. Okay, so I guess it's. I guess that means it's children. Unless that's like part of the child node interface or something to have child nodes. But you see, there's child nodes. Oh, this is the polyfill. Hmm. They probably have polyfills for everything. Uh, okay. Uh, so what the heck is child nodes? Node dot child node. So it's the thing of node. Oh, the polyfill was implemented in child nodes. I mean, this seems like a lower level interface. This is a less complex support table. Oh, children support in document and document fragments, support an SVG element. 
Uh, also, node first child is really all we need. Okay, that might do it. Uh, well, I, I, I want to make some progress, but I also want to make progress on this. Uh, it, it might be shippable. I'm just a little bit bothered by that there's no um, state indicator on which sidebar we have open. I hate that there's two sidebars right now. Oh, you're taking a Baba break. Okay, cool. Where are you at? It's actually, you know, this is a little bit of stuff, but it's not too bad. I guess I could prove that first. Dust is weak. Oh, yep. That's a that's a tough one. Okay. Now let's turn it back. Are we aware of what state we're in? Well, I need I need to I need to have something external determining this. Um, that means it is something that could be called externally. Although really, it would be more of a um, set enabled disabled, and hopefully, it need to be more complicated than that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't, I don't know if I want to presume to change it. See, I've been, I was, I was doing add remove, so we've kind of got that logic, but it's been, we could basically do that as a Boolean. It's not, enabled isn't right. It's um, because it's still enabled. It's just active. It's almost like checked, really. Or the checked is actually kind of disabled. I can use that. I should be able to use that for my animation thing. And I'm talking animated. The only difference between those is the icon they've got. Do you have anything else going on? 
Just that stuff. Let's see, so this is the one... This is the one with a real... I'm not like, using this for anything. So if we use this one for now... So we would... So there's the remove. We would add... This would still be add. Mmm, yep, that was one of the last ones I did. Down there. Nope, oh, no, that was static, static. Sub level, th I don't know what, which. Bob has levels all the way down, so I'm not sure which ones you're talking about. Oh, yeah, VIP was, yeah. There was two variants of that in the, the flower world thing. All right, so it's always going to be added there, and anim toggle static. So this was adding animated, so this is going to be true. This was removing animated, so this is going to be false, and when it's hidden, it doesn't matter. Okay. So that's working. I think that actually is gonna clean that up a little bit. Okay, got all of those now. The other stuff, I don't currently have methods to configure that. So that we have to push back down. You are already getting the messages. You need... Uh, this is going to be a little bit like the animation state. And I'm overlay, I think. And so much of this messing with buttons. You can try to world list, object bound, minute list, data layer. Search overlay, highlight objects. Oh, it's quite on theme level. Show me current monuments. Those are all option things, option things, option things. This is kind of in the options things. You find it's just sidebar. Leaflet dot sidebar. Uh, you are not bool. I guess you're gonna have to be a string, and we don't. We can't talk in a typed thing, unfortunately. Map UI. All right, so when we do life side... Oh, yeah. 
This is where we have to uh, take the current state and update it. And really, I should also ooh, select points. That's only changing the. Oh no, that would that would open that would open this that would open the sidebar. Um. So there's a there's a couple of times we have to grab that value and send it up. Add command. Add update. Actually, add command. Save state. Save state. Rebuild worlds. So I've or I've abstract everywhere I use this I abstract it. So that must be persist command. Is that right? F of model is the additional command. So that would become a Do we have any other leaflet resolve loaded is kind of doing that yeah, yeah kind of that same thing but that's all it's like save state loaded uh, rebuild worlds is another command thing oh and then we had command rebuild worlds oh add command rebuild worlds command so that the yeah, that's but this is a thing that we yeah we short circuited to there Da, 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 leaflet world list. This is actually very similar. Rebuild world, rebuild world, resolve loaded. Ah. So this is this is going to be a um like a sidebar command. This does have to do the string conversion. Yeah, live sidebar, closed sidebar. I guess we do have to consider closed. That's all we really need. To distinguish it. Uh, hmm. Maybe... I will be doing this like a couple of times. Rebuild worlds. How often do we do this? We do add command save state in a couple of places. Uh, life, that's the life sidebar mode. Uh, so I guess sidebar equals. Uh, no, because I can't j easily do that there because you need this derived value. And you update the sidebar. And we're back to here. Then the only thing I have to be concerned about from there 
is when we start up, we do a big old batch. This already has the model determined. Oh, uh, I should think I could just do because we already got the model now, so I could just do that. get the initial state. Now the model doesn't care two bits about that. Or the, uh, yep, unknown, unknown message. Let's see, I put that in near anim overlay because it deals with the button stuff. Toggle animation controls, so that'd be like um, sidebar. In all the maps, remember the options. It's the legend redraw. So this would be like toggle sidebar controls. Although at present I don't need to do that anywhere else. Let's see how big it is. Oh, I guess I, that, uh, yeah, that, that's actually toggling the animation status. That's the only way to change layers that may or may not have that. Do you actually need the map? Well, we're writing and moving things to the map. We're not getting any information from there. Um, you do need the status this is kind of a switch search button my sidebar toggle set checked if it is closed it is not on if it is object sidebar toggle Life. I guess that got a little bit big. Oh, uh, but I can redo this where it's not so bad. So that is not very big at all. But I guess in memory of the other thing, it's still perhaps useful to have the method there. And I already put that, that function in. Okay, that works. Our initial default value does not. Maybe they have not been initialized yet. Oh, uh, how does that, how did that work? It seemed to be doing something.
Or did I still have my um, automatic that I'm at button? When I leave my D yeah, I put it on toggle, so it does not work. But we do know it works here. Uh, I guess you actually, you, you're adding or removing buttons. This could perhaps, uh, is this thing we use during startup? We wait till object bounds, I guess. Yeah, or it gets used, called as part of something else. Um, Oh, you know what? I uh, okay. Also, it's not that animated. Uh, I actually called this sidebar, even though it was status for a bit. Oh, and that is correct. Maybe we could do something else to better indicate um, kind of a disabled status there, but. At least gives you some clue what's going on. <laughs> All right, model. Uh, and I think I did put this on search so that you get this initial what are we dealing with characters or objects that's mostly there the other thing I was thinking of is really that's, well, we've, we do have sidebar status now, but I was sending that information elsewhere in map UI. Okay, that's not the name. Close sidebar. Uh, so you did your thing. Potentially. Oh, because doing this could result in doing that. That is model.sidebar. Now, is this, this was set up for the old. Um, if it was that, and it's this. So, this is toggle. And that was the old model. Maybe this, it did work. Oh, and yeah, you because know, we need we need the derived model. I think I might want to, and this one we can just check. Model dot sidebar. So the search overlay is on. If it is life sidebar, oh, maybe maybe I actually did this wrong when I was updating it. And it's life search. So this is its own command. Command dot batch. And I sort of don't need. Okay, you do. If we can do that, then this can just be sidebar command. Uh, no, because we, need the, we need, need the derived model. Uh, add command.
takes the model and command message. I don't have anything that just takes a model. Well, not, nothing super generic. And adds, passes it to whatever. Hmm. 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 Because doing the, like, derived model thing is somewhat common. I have to do a command. Well, I guess command done is a common pattern. It's not too bad. But there are places I did like the like save state, I think, or some of that stuff that we didn't miss. Where we said, okay, yep, and then save it. There's there's your model, and then save it. Anyway. So now the question is, does that work for life search? So first of all, there's tabs. Okay, tabs work. Uh, there's this, that works. There's that, that now works. And I'm not actually sure that would have worked before. And that gives us a place. To put in Hmm. So this is the highlight objects. Maybe it would be a little bit like this, and we have to determine what to do with it. Highlight objects. This has to be an if, which I guess I technically don't need this anymore. Life sidebar, object sidebar, object sidebar mode is object search. State-wise, I might be able to consider this as six tabs, which are in two groups. It's a little weird, but... Uh, that could turn some of this stuff into a singular check. And have to consider all of those states. That, like if you're doing one group, you have to consider the other states as you say, well, we're only going to draw on these three. Hmm. Hmm. All right. If it's active, that was Boolean for that. Then we send model dot highlight objects else. We clear it and I guess for parity between those two we can do that. You probably need parentheses though. Oh you know what you're a set. Now, was that the only thing you needed? So if we do this... Oh, we are... We zoomed out somewhere. Oh, because we were looking for the, for the other stuff. Uh, of course, now I lost, where, lost my centering, where we actually can see something. All right, so that should go away. Okay, so problem one. We might need to update that when doing tabs. I think the other stuff was 
had its own implementation of that. So that does it. Uh, so that is the life sidebar mode. Yeah. We did a little sub check there, which I guess there's only one thing for that. Although this statement, it's kind of similar. It's got a more complex expression. And I wouldn't mind having that logic all in one place. We are sending access commands. I was also going to do the sidebar mode and the search overlay update, but we don't change these too often. So you update, you update, hmm. This might be more akin to life search where you tend to leave it on. Uh, also, I have a layer for this. I don't have any way to toggle it here. I guess it's possible that you would want to have that be a separate option. So that would be like some sort of like object search overlay. Well, time is moving on and this gives you a way to turn it off at least. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's also uncheck everything or... Tch. Random stuff. Um, that, ma that makes the state consistent. It... Oh, at note time. Out of color feedback. Uh, multiple search terms. How would we do that? Do we have some sort of lock button? Do we have a comma or something? Um, layer toggle for object search. Uh, oh, animation mode. Uh, pure object layers we've not tested. I think that's I think that's a different kind of layer. And we're defaulting this. Yep, we're defaulting that to there. So this was uh, communicating sidebar status. Um, Sidebar open status to sidebar button feedback. So if someone were to go in here and go, what's this? They might, well, if they started out zoomed out, they wouldn't necessarily get it. The restrictions would be on. There's not really good feedback of what, about what zoom level is. There's not real good feedback of what, what static is, but if you try to do that, it 
disappears. So somebody at least have a fighting chance. All right, so there's gonna be a little bit to try deploying that. And then I'll have to see how I feel if I want to get on and do some astroneer after dinner, because the evening is wearing on. For right now, I do need to eat. And I at least got this to a semi-serviceable place before I m probably do other things during the week. So thanks for watching. Uh, I don't I don't normally look for coding people at this time of day. So I don't know if I'm going to have anybody. There's a science and technology that might be a game dev. That's what I'm usually on. This is a very unusual time. Although I did cut out a section of coding time, so I'm going to have to figure out where to put that somewhere. But this is very often my like grocery and cooking time, so I'm not planning to do a whole lot of cooking today. I might need to catch up with that somewhere. Hmm. All right, he's probably just about to end up too. Well, Jolt Jam's kind of early on. Uh, looks like he's working on work on stream improvements right now. I believe he was working on a kind of pixel art -y game last time I saw him. It's been a while. I think our schedules must have diverged a little bit. But if you want to say it's cool to hang out, that's someplace cool to hang out. Thanks for hanging out with me. Good night, and until next time.